Okay, my wonderful friends, Roger once again. I just grabbed my camera real quick because I saw on the Science Channel they were talking about the first time anybody's ever extracted ancient DNA. Now, listen to what they have to say here. When the FBI team studied the results, they discover something long thought unattainable. Ancient DNA. They can now solve the mystery of the severed head. Let me just explain it to you. They did, there was a wife and a husband apparently buried in this somewhere over in Egypt. And they didn't know which was the wife and which was the husband. So they wanted to find the, the Y chromosome, which means that that means it would be the male. Therefore, it would be the husband. So that's why they did this. DNA results show that the mummy's tooth and therefore the mummy is from the governor, Julie Nocta, not his wife. Yeah, it was a boy. <laughs> Although I'm very happy that we know that it is the governor and not his wife, I was kind of hoping that it was her. After 4,000 years, an ancient mummy has his identity restored thanks to the world-class expertise of the FBI. But what is more, they make a scientific breakthrough in the field of ancient DNA that will undoubtedly lead to further discoveries in the future. All right, so let's see what I had done because oh, back in 2015 I had ancient DNA tested and it was human. All right, as I've shown this a million times and it's been really dismissed because two of the samples I submitted were from giant human beings and they were human beings they were giant and I show those a million times and there's no denying it and one was a long R size one was a giant hand three feet wide and one was a fingertip almost three feet long and I'll show them real quick and I'll leave it at that this t this is online as well I extracted the samples from the the specimens that I have here on my property. I sent the extractions to Helix Bio Labs. They claim there was excellent quality DNA sequences obtained from the two of the three samples, and these are the two that were the main ones. One was a gigantic finger, and one was the lung, which is our size. And here's what it could contain: Homo sapien mitochondrial cytochrome B gene and mitochondrial D loop regions. That's what they tested them for. That signifies they were 100% same as humans, Homo sapiens humans and they they did uh, and it was very very high quality test this was no fly-by-night deal uh, so and here's what the specimens were once again shown this a million times look at the size of this fingerprint fingertip and the fingerprints are perfect as well this is the fingernail that is the bumper pad that bumps up against the next bone that would bump against that. These are the blood supplies. This is absolutely huge. It's about almost three feet long, 30 inches or something like that from front to back. Now, I also have the fingerprint side of that, and that is also perfect. And it's a product of nucleophilic substitution, and that is the fingerprint side. My finger itself is the same size as one finger ridge of a fingerprint. It peels off just like this. I popped it with a hammer, popped right off. I understand this process and I understand the invasion, I understand nucleophilic substitution, the membranes, what products happen from what. And I just happened to be in an area that produced absolutely flawless, and I mean flawless, preservation. That's a lung. Now, they separate out from the fleshy parts, turn into mud, but the organs and the lungs and the finger, uh, real scrappy stuff, and like even this goose head, turn to stone. It's just that we're, the, the place that I am at, they're, they're everywhere. They're just literally everywhere. Bones, and that's a bone, but it's turned to stone. Right, and the lung, and this, this lung was the other thing on the, this was the fingerprint that, 
was one of the two things that was heavy and dense in DNA because I went right inside there, right from an artery. And this, I drilled right through the, the red bloody area up in here to get the, the, the sample to send off. And it's, it's um, anatomically exact. I mean, they, a, a two-year-old can tell you that's a fingerprint. And the other side was a fingernail. I mean, it's no, there's no mystery here. So it's time for somebody to, to pay attention to this, I would hope. It wasn't that the FBI that figured out you could get ancient DNA. It's just that nobody, nobody will even do it anymore, I don't think. You can't get anybody to even test this stuff. I've tried, and now I've just pretty much given up because there's, there's just no interest in reality. It's much, much more, you know, ignorance is bliss. And PhDs are perfectly happy deluded. <laughs> That's what I found. <laughs>